What's up guys going on? It's your boy here Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Um, I know I haven't posted anything since the ISS Houston. Well actually I did. I did that awkward uh, live session after that. But yeah, so we're going to try to get back on schedule here. I think I have two jobs that I got to print. Uh, one is a multicolor, one is um, one color but two print locations. That one I still have to finalize. So I'm gonna do that later on this week. This project is actually for the Hilton Santa Clara. They're having an event um, the end of the month. I think it's on the 27th. Yeah, anyways, I'm actually DJing that party also. It's gonna be like a lunch party. Uh, lunch party, not launch party. Did I say launch party? Lunch party, whatever. But uh, we're printing that. I think we're only doing, um, let's see, one, two, three, I think like 12 shirts or something like that. It's one of those, um, quarter quarter um, sleeve uh, baseball tees it's gonna be black with the yellow and the yellow white in the middle yeah so what we'll do now is um, we'll burn these screens and um, print them tonight uh, it's roughly around three o'clock a little after three uh, I only have maybe a good hour then I gotta go pick up my son and then I probably won't even get to print till later on tonight so we're gonna prep the screens now get it um, Get it burned and ready to go i've um, been wanting to try my new um exposure unit. well it's not a new exposure unit, but you guys saw me um hack it and put the new timer in so i've been wanting to use that i haven't had a chance to use it so today will be the day all right let's get on all right turned on the safety lights uh, if you guys remember i do use uh, some sort of pre-registration template so i'm going to be using that today uh, let's see, as far as the screen, I think we're going to be using like 160s. Uh, the detail, I mean, it's not that detailed, it's pretty, it's pretty easy as far as the, um, the design goes. So, we need, what do we need? I think we need like four screens. Um, I definitely need four screens. Let me see. <laughs> Let's go burn this thing. All right, so I like to put this foam in the screen. Try this thing one-handed. Put my weight on top. All right, push the button. There we go. A few moments later. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, got a little bit frustrated burning the screens. Um, I had a lot of issues. Let me show you guys what the issues were. So I messed up three screens. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's blowing it out. You guys can see. Um, let's see. What was my first one? I did this one. I was like, you know what? I need to change my time. So I changed it from two minutes to two and a half minutes. Um, the other one worked, so I don't care about this one. This one, look, it was, see these? These markings are um, like the layer of the emulsion was coming off. I didn't quite understand what was going on. So I changed it again. I upped the, um, the time and this was, this one turned out okay, except for this. I, I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on here. So on my fourth one, or making the changes, it was okay. It turned out okay. Um, I was just thinking about it also that I think the batch of screens that I have was the ones that my son 
uh, reclaimed for me, so I'm not sure if he did them correctly. But I'm not gonna blame him for it. Of course, I'm not. Um, just gotta figure it out. So hopefully that's it. It's not my emulsion going bad because I've never had that issue before. Yeah, I don't know. But um, we're gonna go ahead and set up the screens, the good four screens that I made, um, on press and get ready to print. Okay, so I put the screens on the press. We're gonna go ahead and um, gonna go ahead and line them up here. See, look, even even this thing, it's all messed up, but it'll work. It'll work. I'll make it work. But we're gonna be putting them on these Bella Canvas um, baseball tees to three quarter sleeve length. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be nice, nice and soft, man. Um, what we're gonna do is also is we're going to go ahead and change the PMI palette, the dual palette tape. Uh, I haven't done that in a while, so we're going to change that. Um, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and um, register it, and I'll show you guys how I register. If you guys, if you guys haven't seen how I register my multicolor jobs, um, I'm going to show you. All right, I'll put you guys down here real quick. Let's go ahead and tape up, tape this thing up. Okay, for the Vegas Gold, it is the uh, International Coatings. Vegas Gold, we're gonna be using this one. All right, let's get a, get a test pedal on here. Uh, I think we're printing on what? This is a 160. I think we're either using a 160 or a 180 mesh on all these. All right, so here's the gold. Don't mind that junk there, but yep, that's the gold. And how I register now with the other colors, we get our, I use the, um, what do we call this? The Clear Choice Art Tape. I don't know if you guys can see that. Clear Choice. Can you guys see that? Let's see if you guys can see that. Focus. So Clear Choice Tape, this is the fifth, no wait, what is this? This is, I forgot what size this is, but this is the AT60N, um, low tack. This is pretty much the same thing you use for like um, uh, the transfer like decals to your vehicle. If you're making stickers, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so all I like to do is kind of bend the middle and put it down from the center out. Or you can use um, packing tape like uh, Vega 23 does. He uses packing tape. Same thing. But like I said, since I had to roll these um, uh, and I haven't done any stickers in a while, I'm going to use it. Okay, so we're. Whoa, that thing's about to hit it. So now we're doing red. Um, so as far as. Um, as far as registering multi colors. Um, I like to register from the lightest color to the darkest color um, and a lot of people would say the same so try to do it that way it's let's see so now we register try to line this thing up let's see how that goes almost out look almost out so here's the red See how I'm off? I'm I'm not using that screen right there, which is I made the registration for this project. Uh, yeah, I have issues with that one. I'm not gonna use it. So this one looked out pretty good, except for that little blob right there. But I think it's just yeah. No, I'm not worried about that. So damn, that was good. Okay, so next one again, same scenario. We're gonna get the art tape. down gray so this should line up I know you guys are gonna ask um, my dispenser here my tape dispenser is from Uline you guys can see the uh, the number there Uline this is a two inch and they have a three inch one all right so this is gonna be a dark gray uh, we're gonna be using the fusion 180 on this one this fusion 180 dark gray so that's what we're gonna be using for this one 
looks like I'm a little off I have to go this way so with that with something nice about this one is I can get a rag just like this one and take it off wipe it off let's put a little bit of a, a little bit of wash here just a little bit It looks like we're good. Cool. Oh, I should have showed you guys before, huh? But it was off a little bit here. Now I'm right on the money. So that's the gray. All right, so here's the black. There's the black. Uh, I'm gonna ahead and take a picture of it and send it to the customer just to get an approval, make sure he likes it. And we're good to go. Sorry guys, so uh, let's get in and get printing. Um, I did change the palette tape, the PMI palette tape. And um, yeah, I think we're good. We're good to go here. It's starting to wrinkle up already, but it's all good. Go ahead and grab a shirt and get some of this tackiness off real quick. Right, guys that is it for tonight uh, I went ahead and printed this out that's how it looks looks pretty good it looks pretty good cool well anyways that's it guys um, some real quick for you guys um, I do have two more projects coming up hopefully within the next couple of days this weekend I'm going to uh, Portland with my wife we're actually going to a wedding I'm actually DJing the wedding in Portland so we'll see how that goes um, yeah, I should have another video coming up before I leave, so probably like Thursday or something like that. And then a week and a half from now, or two weeks from now, actually, we're going to do another raffle. So stay tuned for that also. Alright, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.